everyone, welcome to Creative Bursts and today's theme is picture this. We're going to write using visual prompts, pictures, photographs. I almost feel like breaking into the Blondie song, picture this, but I won't. <laughs> Your grown-ups might know Blondie, they were a super super band. So the first prompts we're going to use are some photographs of people and I want you to write their story or you can take two or three of them and put them all together in a story. You decide. You might have photo albums at home. Uh, you might have old photo albums going back years or you might have more modern photo albums. Maybe you could go through and pick out some photos that you'd like to write about. So I'm going to show you three photos now. So number one is from my own family photo album and this is my great grandfather, Charles Beadle Stanford, when he was only two months old. Here you go. He was a super looking little baby and he had fabulous lace clothes on. So that is picture number one. Picture number two is of my three, my two great aunts and my granny. My granny's in the middle. They're Rita, Eva and Dorothy, but you can give them any names you like. So that is number two. Number three is from the magnificent Rusborough House, which is in Blessington, County Wicklow. And this is Penelope Dudley Ward in 1935. And it was photographed by Sir Alfred Beat. Another really lovely picture. What you can do maybe is go back to the video and pause on the picture that you want to write about. Happy writing. So the second thing I have for you to do is to write some stories or draw some pictures inspired by a setting or place. So in a lot of books there is amazing settings, like think of the Narnia books for example, or the Harry Potter books. So I'm going to show you a couple of different places and I want you to write a story or a poem or draw something inspired by these pictures. So the first one is from, again, from a family album we have from an old school. So this is from St. Andrew's College and it is dated 1915, a long, long time ago. And this is a fantastic one. I'm going to put it in front of my face. <laughs> you see it? It's a science lab, a really old science lab. Fantastic, isn't it? So draw a story or write a story that's set in this location. The second location is something completely different. It's this one. It is a beautiful cherry garden and cherry tree. The third one is a little bit different. It's this one here. And it is a strange and mysterious tunnel. So what is taking place in this strange and mysterious tunnel? You decide. Get writing. So the next piece we're going to do is we're going to write something inspired by art. Now, I am a big fan of art. I actually did a degree in history of art, which is uh, just looking at history through the lens of paintings and drawings and it was fascinating. So the first piece of art we're going to look at and I'd like you to write or draw something inspired by this is by an artist called Henry Russo and he was born in 1844 and it's called Surprised. You'll see why in a second. So this is Surprised by Henry Russo. I'm going to put it in front of my face now. Do you see the tiger in the picture? I'd certainly be surprised if I saw that tiger out in a jungle. So write something inspired by that. The next picture I'm going to show you is also of a tiger. And a very famous poet called William Blake wrote a poem about a tiger. And this is the cover of the book. And this is the illustration by an Irish illustrator called Paul Harrod. Paul is from the north of Ireland. 
And this is the poem that William Blake wrote, or a better tiger. This is the first verse. Tiger, tiger, burning bright in the forests of the night. What immortal hand or eye could frame thy fearful symmetry? I think you're supposed to pronounce it symmetry to rhyme. <laughs> so you draw something inspired by either Paul's magnificent tiger or the Henry Rousseau tiger. Get writing. <laughs> So the next thing I want you to do is to go find either an old newspaper or an old magazine. Now these need to be ones that your parents don't mind you ripping up. That's very important, so an old one, maybe from the recycling bin. Um, so this is one that I have found. This is an old Irish Times one from last weekend. And there are some fa fantastic pictures in it. This is Sir Bob Gildoff. Um, there's loads and loads of really, really interesting images in this one. Um, I love this one, a girl and an owl. You see here, a girl and an owl. So rip out a couple of different pictures. You can take maybe two, you can take four, as many as you like that look really interesting to you. So here are two that I took out of magazines. So one is a girl with a fantastic snowy, um, lined uh, hood around her head. And the other one look is a fantastic, he looks like a Mexican circus uh, man or something. It's a fantastic picture. So take a couple of pictures and then I want you, you to write or to draw a story or maybe mark, make a cartoon all about the people that you have chosen to write about. Now, I would love to see some of the artwork, read some of your stories and poems. So do find me on social media or find the Molly on social media, Museum of Literature Ireland, and do show us your artwork. And remember what Einstein said, creativity is intelligence having fun. So keep writing everyone. Mm -hmm.